Chernobyl is not a place that springs to mind when choosing a scenic cycling route, but it attracts many tourists and numbers increase significantly between 2018 and 2019 thanks to the popular HBO miniseries Chernobyl. According to the body which governs the exclusion zone, around 124,000 people visited the zone in 2019. Trips are only possible through a certified guide. Вы знаете, такая идея была уже достаточно давно, насколько я знаю, потому что хотелось управлению зоны Вичуджини разнообразить туристические маршруты. В принципе, до этого года в зону можно было въезжать только на автомобилях в рамках автобусных экскурсий. И вот с точки зрения разнообразия появился такой вот велосипедный маршрут. As the group charges through a vast wasteland, stopping by various dilapidated houses and monuments, experiencing the remnants of the tragedy firsthand brings it into the present day. Tourists are also interested in how the zone is changing over time. All right, now we're having a bike tour in Chernobyl area in uh, in preserve. Uh, for me, it's second time here, and the main purpose for me to go to come here to see the nature how it developed through these 30 years after the trip. Although it's clear why it is considered such a unique trip, is it actually safe? The exclusion zone, which covers over 30 kilometers of land, is still dotted and unnerving nuclear warning notices. It's a sign that 35 years after an explosion ripped through the Chernobyl nuclear power plant, the area is still considered dangerous. People are forbidden from eating and drinking in the zone and not allowed to travel in and out by themselves. They're also only allowed to visit between 10 a.m. and 4.30 p.m. Очень долго утверждали и проверяли. То есть он абсолютно выверен дозиметристами, вот, и мы не можем от него отклоняться. Плюс есть свои правила посещения зоны. То есть мы в зону можем бежать только там полностью в прикрывающей тело одежде. Вот, и есть ряд других правил по безопасности, которые работают на нас, да, нас обезопасят. Hotels in the zone are government-run, and in spite of a law prohibiting people to live from living here, some still do. Ukrainians have moved here and restored abandoned houses. The group stops to visit Maria Ilchenko, a star of the local area. Known as Babushka Maria, she lives in a village and returned to her home only months after the disaster in 1986. <laughs> After finishing the tour, the cyclists are checked for radiation levels before they leave the zone. 